Hi, hi everyone, my name is Colette Matrida. Welcome to my temporary thermi kitchen. Dinner is ready for us in the Matriga household. Um, we had a really busy day today and I just love the fact that when I got in, I just hit the meal plan, hit Monday, up popped what I was going to cook and I just got to it. Um, and this particular meal uh, took me just 20 minutes of my time and the overall was about an hour. So lots of downtime um, in this dish, but it's just beautiful and it's definitely a regular um, on our meal plan, so you might like to give it a go. So it's basically the Thai peanut chicken with coconut rice. And it's one of those great dishes that Thermomix is so famous for with all the different layers. You know, this one little gadget can produce a whole meal that will feed a big family of six. So what I actually did to start off with is I made the sauce, and the sauce takes about 15 minutes. And it's all those beautiful Thai flavors. You know, you've got um, ginger and garlic and uh, brown sugar, coconut. So you, and, um, and what else do we have in there? We have um, soy sauce and um, sambal, all that kind of stuff. And it's just an amazing sauce, full of flavor. Once the sauce is done, you set that to one side and then you start off and you make your rice. Now the rice is a coconut rice, so we actually cook it in coconut milk and water. And I like to add an additional um, heavy te teaspoon of my chicken stock paste into that mix. And that's gonna give another layer of flavor, which I love. You don't have to, but if you love flavor, give that a go. So that then cooks the rice for about 20 minutes while you're off doing other things. And of course it calls you back when it's all finished. And then what we do is we, we cook our chicken in the varoma on top and we cook our veggies on top. And what we end up with is a beautiful full dinner with lots and lots of elements. So first up, I'm just serving. Here's the lovely coconut rice. So I'm just going to put some of this in my bowl. It's nice and light and fluffy. It is nice and light and fluffy. A little bit more because I do love coconut rice. Um, so remember that little hack. With the coconut rice is to add that, that um, teaspoon of chicken stock powder, which is just beautiful. So have a look at my dish now, which is all being combined. Um, and that's done in the last minute. So you can actually see here, we have got, I'll take this down and just see, it might be easier. So we've got veggies, we've got chicken, we've got the most amazing sauce. And so I'm going to serve this out generously. I love the sauce in this. It's beautiful. So just whatever veggies you happen to have left, serve it up, be generous. Yum. Let's go say hi to Geraldine. Geraldine from Swansea in Wales. Oh my goodness, another one from the UK. That's wonderful. People from all over the world, which is wonderful. So there you go. I think that's enough for me tonight. Um, and there's tons left. So... Um, I will be putting some rice and some of this into some freezer containers and popping it in the freezer for one of those nights where it's just a bit crazy around here. So on top of that, just to finish it off, of course, any Thai dish, some beautiful roasted peanuts. Um, and please make sure you roast them because it gives you so much more flavor. And then some beautiful coriander is going to sit on top of this. I love my coriander. Of course, you can leave your coriander out and then just finishing it off with some lovely extra chili because you know I like things hot and spicy. So that is the beautiful Thai peanut chicken with coconut rice. If you're looking for a darn tasty Thai spicy kind of meal with rice and veggies, this is the one to go for. Now I did use chicken breast where it asks for chicken thigh and normally you really do want to stick to what they say chicken thigh holds its shape better and quite often with the thermomix if you are using or subbing it for chicken breast you might find it actually breaks down a bit too much but i looked at this recipe and because the chicken was cooked in the aroma i knew that i could sub it out for the chicken breast which is what i had another little hack to leave you with tonight if you're like me and you hate measurements. Andy, am I good at measurements? No. Oh, I am the world's worst. I'll say, how much, do, how much is this? And you know, all that kind of stuff. I'm pretty bad. 
But when it says to cut your chicken into two centimeter pieces or three centimeter pieces, I have learnt through the power of visuals, this knob, the silver knob here, is four centimeters across. So if I need to do a two centimeter piece of chicken, it needs to be roughly that big. So that's a little hack. Is that good, Andy? You like that one? <laughs> <laughs> Next okay. question's for you. Um, so it's a great instant little measurement, four centimeters. So just remember that. So I'm going to sit down and enjoy this beautiful Thai fake away, cheaper, healthier. What do you call it? Fake away? Fake away, because it's, you know, rather than go down to the Thai restaurant. Oh, sorry, I'm going to take away. Yeah. Do you make that up? No, no, it's, it's a kind of a standard thing. Fake away. I'm going to enjoy my Thai fake away, sit in front of the TV and um, hope that you have an amazing evening too. Thanks for popping in. I'll see you next time. Bye for now. It does smell good, doesn't it? Mm, yeah, I can't wait to get stuck into dinner tonight. <laughs>